so it's my distinct pleasure to introduce our guest, uh, FBI Director Robert Mueller. Uh, for people in the legal community, I, don't, I think his stature uh, stands such that no introduction is needed. He's one of the senior most law enforcement officials in the United States today, uh, and really his history since graduating from the University of Virginia, where he was on the Law Review, has demonstrated not only a capacity for creative legal thinking, but really outstanding management and leadership. So there's really things that all of us can learn from, from his experience and his uh, track record. Even before he went to law school, he was really demonstrating this. He, he received a Bronze Star, a Purple Heart, two Naval Commendations uh, Awards, and a Vietnamese Medal of Gallantry, I think it is. And that was for his role in the US Marines during the Vietnam War. But really, it's his experience after law school that has set him on a path that brings us to where we are today. Uh, after law school, he served as a litigator in San Francisco and then spent many years with the U.S. Attorney's Office, uh, first in San Francisco, then in Boston. Eventually went on to work with the Department of Justice, heading up their criminal division, and oversaw a variety of very high-profile cases that include uh, the conviction of crime boss John Gotti, that include the conviction of uh, or, or managing the Lockerbie bombing case. And um, in addition to that, uh, Panamanian leader Manuel Noriega. So when I heard about some of the security precautions being taken and I thought, you know, is that really necessary? But it struck me, we've got Libyan terrorists, we've got Panamanian dictators, we've got organized crime. Let's take every security precaution we can, please. Um, so uh, he, he served in the Department of Justice, went back uh, with the U.S. Attorney's Office, and eventually was appointed uh, U.S. Attorney for the Northern District of California in San Francisco, where he served until 2001. In 2001, was appointed by President George W. Bush, FBI Director. His first day on the job was September 4th, 2001. And we can probably remember what happened in his second week on the job and how that changed uh, probably his outlook on his responsibilities there. So that is a very uh, short sketch of some of his past experience. I want to spend just a second talking about the organization that he represents and leads. Uh, here at the business school, our motto is change lives, change organizations, change the world. Because we believe, as students of management, that modern organizations affect just about every aspect of our lives. And by leading organizations effectively, we can have a pretty powerful impact, a positive impact on the world. And it's hard to imagine, you know, first, let's be honest, as, as uh, members of the business school community, we spend more of our time focused on organizations engaged in private enterprise, probably less of our time understanding the dynamics of government organizations. And the FBI is an iconic government agency. It's certainly an iconic government bureaucracy known as the Bureau, 31,000 or so employees, a $7 billion budget, 500 or so offices worldwide, and it has to engage with, coordinate, collaborate with a maze of other agencies to conduct itself accordingly. The DOJ, the DOD, the Department of National Intelligence, CIA, NSA, and that's without even going to the state level or international level. They prosecute over 200 types of federal crimes, and um, you can just imagine changing this type of organization is no easy task. Um, you know, I was struck at just the, the level of mystique that surrounds the, the Bureau in many respects. I did a little experiment. I typed in FBI into the internet music, or not music, internet movie database. Came up with over 500 titles in which the, one of the main characters was an FBI agent. And what struck me as interesting was that more than half, but not a whole lot more than half of those cases, the FBI was the good guys. They were the heroes of the story. And in a number of them, the FBI agents actually represented the, you know, the villains of, of the story. And you know, I thought, what is it about the FBI that draws out this level of passion, these different views? And it struck me that two things really stand out. One is, you know, this is an organization of consequence. Whatever you may think about government, bureaucracies, government agencies, when an organization like the FBI is run effectively, our lives are impacted in a very positive way. We're less prone to uh, be attacked by terrorists. Our financial institutions are more reliable. Our computer networks are more secure. 
And the consequences or potential consequences of poor management of an organization like the FBI are too significant to underestimate or to ignore. Um, the other thing that really struck me was that it's an organization that has a lot of tension at its core. And what I mean by that is, is living in America, we're all aware that there's a number of principles we hold that, uh, that are all valuable, but in sometimes compete with one another. What I'm talking about is national security, which is obviously important to all of us, whether we're American or not. And I'm talking about our sense of freedom and liberty and um, being able to do what we want, living in an open society. And particularly in the last eight years, what we've seen is an ongoing national dialogue, really, around how we balance these uh, competing principles, competing values, all of which are important. And certainly in the wake of the terrorist attacks of 9-11 uh, and some of the activities that have, that have unfolded since then, there's, it's hard to imagine other times in history when the microscope has been at a practical level uh, so strongly focused on how we think about national security and law enforcement. Um, and, you know, for me, as a, as a student of leadership, as someone who studies uh, leaders of various types, you know, when I look at this sense of having to compete, having to balance these tensions, having to do it when the stakes are extremely high, and never having an easy way out, there's no easy way to resolve these tensions. In many ways, that is the essence of leadership. Whether you're in a business organization managing tensions between customers and employees and shareholders, or whether you're in an organization literally trying to balance the freedom with the security that we all expect, uh, you know, this is really the essence of leadership. So the opportunity we have tonight is to hear a particularly compelling story about how one leader of a very iconic agency has had to lead in a time of extreme difficulty, manage these tensions, lead some change, and as anybody who's followed the debate on these issues, I think, uh, you know, I find myself extremely impressed that whether the issues that come up are, have to do with wiretapping or torture or uh, cybersecurity, the, the person at the head of the FBI, Director Mueller, has been somebody who has been extremely thoughtful and really represents us as American citizens or as citizens of the world extremely well. So with that, I, want, I hope that you will join me in welcoming FBI Director Robert Mueller. Uh, thanks, Mike. Can you hear me? Is this mic on? Yes. Okay, good. Thanks, Mike, for that introduction. And we actually were wondering what you were doing during that internet search, but that's... <laughs> <laughs> That's a joke. That's a joke. We'll get to that. 